a new Chainsaw Man image dropped. I think it's like for the book cover for the book of the animation. And he's like, his mask is all cracked and stuff. And like one of the chains is broken on his hand and everything. It looks really cool, so I thought I'd give it a go. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So center point to my page is about here. Come up over to the left. His head's kind of in the middle. So we'll just go diagonal. To get us started, right? And then we do these two fins, right? One. Two. Okay. So then this comes across his face, right? But it's all cracked, right? So we go, you could do a straight line and then add your cracks, but we'll just do the cracks as we go, right? So we add some cracks coming up here. Right, and then there's like some floating orange bits there and then we got like another one here and then the next one then another one they get kind of taller as we go up towards the end of his face. And then we have one, two, three, four, yeah. And then we have the main sort of section for his, the front of his head. Just there, and this will curve back to about here. And this is all cracked and broken as well. And then we go back to here. Another cracked section here goes up around its head, just all there, and then we have a couple of layers again. So, all this broken stuff. Like textures, like another sort of line coming down there, maybe. So then, in here, we can see like his golden sort of eye, right? His glowing sort of eye, like in there. And then there's all this skin, right? So there's this black skin that he has and it's all wrinkly and textured and stuff so is that what he actually looks like underneath maybe you got this wrinkly line going up like that Okay, so bottom jaw, teeth, and stuff. So let's go. So our teeth are real long. So we go from right here. So the top of this sort of gum line just comes across. It's just all these bumps, and each of these will be a tooth, right? So, like, it's a long, spiky tooth.
face with little crazy big long teeth there and like it so his jaw at the side comes down around here and then this is like skin or something on this and then we have his bumpy sort of gum line coming across here it just goes all the way around the teeth here at the back and then we have teeth sticking up here So each of these is a tooth. And you just keep going. So you just keep adding these spiky teeth all the way along. Right. So then the bottom of his jaw kind of sticks out here like a big arrow and then it goes down towards the front to a point and then it goes right back up behind here. So it seems to disappear underneath his tongue it looks like. So his tongue is sticking out so it comes like out here it's real long and skinny back around into his mouth here and then go all the way back to the back here so you gotta like uh, jump over the teeth like that You just stay going. Eventually it curves around into the back of his mouth. You just go with the middle line. Like so. I think we should see some teeth at the back as well, behind the tongue. Or something up here and then that disappears over that side and then it has like some extra lines just coming around on this bottom jaw like so Okay, so we'll get the chain in, right? So the chain goes all the way over to the front of my page, all the way over here. It comes out from his head all the way back, right? So you might need a ruler. Just be like the inside of it. Okay. And it has an extra section that goes around as well. So you do like another line. So like, say curving around just like here. Like that, and then we got like these cracks. scratches and stuff and then you break up each each of these you know actual links in his chain right, and then spikes right so then we have like a, a big spike followed by a small spike and it's just that's the pattern that repeats
and it was like more of his head here. And you just do that the whole way. Okay. So then the rest of his head, what well, we can see of it anyway. So he's got that big handle and like more orange sort of stuff coming out here, right? So he's got like a, the other orange side that goes around. Down like this way, right? And then we have a big dark handle. So that'll go down this way somewhere. Maybe go around into the back of his head. And then the inside of this here. Like that. And then we have all these sort of boxes that step out. Go down around his head here. mask there right? and this is like broken up into different sort of sections there's like a bolt or something here like the the engine of the chain and this is all broken up into different sections as well to edge lines and stuff. So you can, I'm just make, kind of making this up now. You could be more accurate if you want to. And he has a chain that looks like it hooks both of his jaws together. That and then we keep going. Okay, and then the collar of his shirt comes out around here, and then it goes down like that. And then back up around to the back of his head there. And we have all these pipes and stuff inside his neck. So you just have all these sort of crisscross kind of lines for the back of his neck. And these have all lines sort of on them broken up. And that's pretty much his head. Maybe another line in there. So. Doo -doo -doo. Right, we'll finish his body and then he's got an arm sticking out here. So we'll just do like the rest of his shirt, right? Just kind of waves and goes off my page down that way. You might have a button, and then another sort of line that follows us down there, and then his back comes off from behind the head up here. Right, and we 
just have like see his shoulders like here. Right, and his shirt is kind of blowing in the wind behind his body as well, so the light comes out this way. Around here. Another section. like that and we've got we've got like broken bits of mask kind of floating like around his body and like his head and stuff just these orange cracks the bits that have come off and all here and one here as well so floating here Right, so, teeth. Okay, so his other arm comes out here. It's got a broken chainsaw. This is like his sleeve. So his forearm. Goes this way, comes up to the thumb, the index finger. So say it's like index finger first, so it comes around. Like that, right in the bottom of his forearm. It's down here, it curves around and this comes up to the thumb then. Which will go back this way. Like that. Okay. So then we have another chain. Now, this one is broken. It has like a broken strand and all broken pieces of chain coming around, right? So, best way to do this, I'd say ruler again. So, we go stop it about there. And then we go the top. Right, and this will be like the broken end of the chain that's gone. And then a little bit more of the metal part that comes out that way, right? And this will be all sort of cracked. And then it'll go back. This way. And then you'll meet another like chain that's like waving and coming off. Right, so it'll like coming off that way, right? Let me just give this like an edge or something, like a crack that runs down it. Right, and then so break this up into different links, roughly spaced apart the same. 
it doesn't have to be exactly the same and then add our spikes right so big ones followed by a small one big small big small and then down here too and then we should have sections of chain so like the broken top of it so it should be like curved you say you could do this anywhere you could do it floating anywhere you want I'll just do it here because that's where it is in the picture this is the, like the broken metal part here we'll give it like an edge like another line coming around like this and then some more sort of cracked pieces some more chain just kind of hanging off like that and then so you could do as much more of that as you want as much more debris and stuff floating but we'll go we'll do like his pull cord that comes out of his chest there and then he's like his knees like sticking up here optional of course you don't have to draw the knee but I can see it in the picture And you just got all these four lines then. Like that. Right. Such a cool character, Chainsaw Man. That's it. That's how to draw Chainsaw Man with his broken chain and mask. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.